How's it going guys? Today I want to show how you can make a parameter that may or might, may not exist into a multi-value parameter uh, using iLogic. So what I mean by this is let's say we wanted a parameter to be able to have this drop down menu and be able to uh, give the user uh, options to select from. So let's get started. I'm going to make a rule. Let's call this rule zero. Just to find in the document here, and I'm going to create a list. I like to use uh, array list. There's other ways. There's other lists you can use. 20 inches. So let's say I wanted to give uh, the user only five options. Um, I'm going to do it the lazy way. I'm just going to hard code uh, hard code this in. Obviously, you can make a do loop for this since there is a pattern. 20, 40, 60. 80, 100. So let's uh, let's define the parameter name as length three. That's just the parameter I decided to come up come up with, and it doesn't exist right now. So um, now to set this uh, into a multi-value uh, list, all you gotta do is just type multi-value list and you set that equal to the list so if I run this I get an error because that parameter does not exist in order to fix that what I'm going to do is uh, create some more definitions let's go ahead and uh, I'll do it right here actually I'll do it right here so First, I gotta define the user parameters. Uh, let's let's define the composite uh, uh, component definition first. And now we define the user parameters. Parameters, user parameters. Now let's define a temporary variable as user parameter. This is how we are going to add that parameter using OUP. So first, let's try to see if the, the variable exists by using a try, catch, and try statement. So let's try test is equal to uh, OUPS item param name value so whatever length 3 is equal to that's going to set test as that value if it does not exist it's going to go to the catch statement oh what the hell the hell just happened there ooh spooky ghost took over my computer alright so up is equal to uh, ups O U P S add by expression. I'm going to set the parameter name, and uh, this is going to be the initial variable, uh, the initial option for the user. So I'm going to put list item zero. That's going to give 20 inches as the first uh, option for the user. Uh, so let's type new. And this is how to uh, set the uh, uh, units of the parameter. So this is going to be uh, inches, inches length units. So now this line should create this uh, parameter if it does not exist. And we should be left over with a multi-value list with these uh, parameters. All right, so no errors. Let's check our functions. And yeah, so length three. Uh, has these three options cool now if you wanted to add a uh, text instead of uh, units uh, I mean inches uh, let me show you how uh, so this is this isn't the only way you can make an array list you can also use um, let me show you another way here in just a sec I'm gonna mute this so dim list as new 
minus three. Let's say we're going to make a uh, text, right? So I, I I shouldn't use new here. Let's say we wanted to make a uh, yellow, uh, I mean colors as um, our parameter. Uh, I forgot the colors already. All right, so that's our uh, list here. Our parameter name is going to be colors this time. All right, Ooh, what happened here? Oh, okay, I know what happened here. Uh, when we create uh, text um, parameters, we, we're not able to use add by expression. So I'm going to use uh, the other option that they give us. Uh, why did I do that? Just get rid of this. Add by value. And I got to fix this right here, which is k okay, text units oh oh in this case uh, I shouldn't use item this should result uh, with yellow being the default option let's make cyan the, the default option so I'm just gonna put one starts off at zero one two so I'm gonna run this and I go to my user parameters and there we go we have cyan yellow and red and uh, with cyan being the the initial uh, user um, option so that's it for this video hopefully you found this uh, useful I'm going to uh, add on onto this this was really basic um, but hopefully it helps somebody else out and I will make a future video on how to extract variables from Excel and uh, instead of wasting time making variables uh, one by one we're just going to automate that process all right stay tuned for the next video